Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through tongue conditions. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash tongue conditions or in the ear, nose and throat section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. There are many conditions that can cause changes in the tongue and we're going to go through some of those, starting with glossitis. Glossitis refers to an inflamed tongue. The tongue becomes red, sore and swollen. The papillae of the tongue, which are the small bumps on the tongue, atrophy, which means they shrink, giving the tongue a smooth appearance. Sometimes the tongue can be referred to as beefy. The causes of glossitis are iron deficiency anemia, B12 deficiency, folate deficiency, celiac disease, and injury or irritant exposure. Management of glossitis involves correcting the underlying cause. Next let's talk about angioedema. Angioedema refers to fluid accumulating in the tissues which results in swelling. Angioedema can affect a number of areas such as the limbs, the face and the lips. It can also affect the tongue, which causes the tongue to swell up. The three top causes of angioedema to remember for your exams are allergic reactions, ACE inhibitors, and C1 esterase inhibitor deficiency, which is also called hereditary angioedema. Next, let's talk about oral candidiasis. Oral candidiasis is also called oral thrush. It refers to an overgrowth of candida, a type of fungus, inside the mouth. This results in white spots or white patches that coat the surface of the tongue and the palate. Several common factors can predispose someone to developing oral candidiasis, including inhaled corticosteroids, particularly when the person who's taking the inhaled steroids has poor technique, does not use a spacer and is not rinsing their mouth with water afterwards. Antibiotics, which disrupt the normal bacterial flora of the mouth, giving candida a chance to thrive. Diabetes. Immunodeficiency, for example, HIV. Or smoking. Treatment options for oral candidiasis are myconazole gel, nystatin suspension, or fluconazole tablets in severe or recurrent cases. Next let's talk about geographic tongue. A geographic tongue is an inflammatory condition where patches of the tongue surface lose the epithelium and the papillae. The patches form irregular shapes on the tongue which resembles a map with countries and oceans bordering each other. The condition tends to relapse and remit, with episodes of the tongue appearing abnormal which can last days to weeks before resolving or changing. The cause of these changes is not known. Geographic tongue often occurs without any associations, however it can be related to stress or mental illness psoriasis, atopy, for example asthma, hay fever and eczema, or diabetes. Geographic tongue is a benign condition and does not cause any harmful effects. It does not usually require any treatment. Symptoms such as discomfort or burning are sometimes treated with topical steroids or antihistamines. Next let's talk about a strawberry tongue. A strawberry tongue describes when the tongue becomes swollen and red and the papillae on the tongue become enlarged, white and prominent and this makes the tongue look like a strawberry. The two key causes of a strawberry tongue to remember are scarlet fever and Kawasaki disease. As a result you're more likely to see a strawberry tongue in children rather than adults. 
Next, let's talk about a condition called black hairy tongue. Black hairy tongue results from a decrease in the exfoliation or shedding of keratin from the tongue surface. The papillae elongate and take on the appearance of hairs. Bacteria and food can cause the dark pigmentation. This gives the appearance of black hair on the tongue. Patients may also report that they have sticky saliva and a metallic taste in their mouth. Black hairy tongue may be due to dehydration, a dry mouth, poor oral hygiene and smoking. Management involves ensuring adequate hydration, gentle brushing of the tongue and stopping smoking. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account, where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube. You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams, digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes, and question podcasts which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.